with Forbidden Door right around the corner and everyone being healthy. I thought it'd be great to finally uh, take a look at who, just who I would love to see perform at this event. This show has immediately solidified itself as one of the biggest shows in all of professional wrestling and who doesn't love a good crossover show and i'll be at multiverse united in philly impact new japan pro wrestling but here are the five new japan wrestlers i would love to see at forbidden door number five mercedes monet now listen we all know that she is currently healing from a broken ankle but this is the wrestling business and she is without a shadow of a doubt one of the biggest stars not only in new japan but in all of professional wrestling mercedes monet doesn't even have to wrestle at forbidden door she just needs to make an appearance and yes she could have the walking boot on she could have i don't know a, a splint on whatever but her presence should be felt and it should be known and you asking yourself well what would she be doing at forbidden door it's very simple challenging the woman who defeated her for the new japan pro wrestling strong women's championship seeing as how mercedes won't be wrestling at forbidden door they can always set this match up for i don't know all in this would be well just the cherry on top and i for one am hoping that mercedes monet shows up number four willow nightingale sticking with mercedes monet and you're asking yourself well why why would willow nightingale a, a wrestler contracted to AEW, have to be you know someone you're, you hope is on the card She's an AEW wrestler. Well, here's the thing. I don't just want her to show up. I want her to defend the championship. This is a perfect way to get all, all eyes on the New Japan Women's product. It's a big, big platform for Willow Nightingale. You can find an opponent. She represents both AEW and New Japan. You can find someone to work with her, whether that be someone from New Japan Strong, whether that be someone from AEW. All the thing that has to happen is Willow should be defending the championship at Forbidden Door. She should be getting a W. And then immediately, Mercedes Monet shows up to call her out. That would be such an amazing experience. And we can finally get our first taste of Mercedes Monet in AEW. Number three, Kushida, the former uh, WWE talent who has history all over the professional wrestling business and now is back in New Japan. Well, he just got finished challenging for the Impact Wrestling World Championship not too long ago and he would be an excellent addition to the card. And it's very, very, very simple. Who would he face? Well, like Darby Allen, of course. This would be such a good experience for someone like Darby to face a guy who is established in this business who can help put on just an amazing, amazing match. And you know the match would be great. Darby versus Kushida is not a match that I thought I would say I want to see, but I want to see that match. Number two, Ace Austin and Chris Bay. Now, at the time of this recording, these two are the current Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions. They are also part of the Bullet Club. Do not forget that the Bullet Club has their hands in many promotions. You have the Bullet Club OGs in New Japan. You have the Bullet Club over at Impact Wrestling. You have Bullet Club Gold in uh, AEW. And you have, quote unquote, the club in the WWE. And Ace Austin and Chris Bay have really become a great great tag team and now with the kind of the show of respect and the head nod from the Motor City Machine Guns, Ace Austin and Chris Day would be just a perfect way to not only get eyes again on New Japan but get eyes also on Impact and let Ace Austin and Chris Bay 
get a W over a tag team who they faced. Well, the first thought that came to my mind was top flight, but they're hurt. But what about Ace Austin and Chris Bay versus the acclaimed? That match would have just some electricity to it, and you know it would be entertaining. And 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 the acclaimed are so over. They're starting to reach a point where they can lose a match here and there and they not be hurt by it. Remember, they recently just lost in a six-man tag match for the trio championships in AEW. But them versus Ace Austin and Chris Bay going up against the Bullet Club, that would be something to behold. Number one, Mayu Iwutani. Yes, yes, yes. The current New Japan Women's Champion is absolutely one of the best wrestlers on the planet and with mercedes monet being hurt well we we should really have someone to represent new japan not only that last year we only had one women's match and it was an AEW women's match mind you the match was great tony storm and thunder rosa put on a fantastic match but it's time to get just a little bit more representation on there and who better than one of the best wrestlers on the planet in Mayu and she could immediately and she probably would outshine everybody all you have to do is give her the proper opponent hell you could have her versus Tony Storm Mayu could get the win Tony could just wrestle it all in the following week or all out whatever which one is next but Mayu Iwutani should be a bigger star and people should be able to witness just how truly good she is so that is the number one person who i would love to see on this giant giant stage mayu iwatani is so good that i think everyone should get at least one chance one opportunity to see her wrestle so is there anyone else you thought Okay, you think I missed or who should be on here? Who who do you want to see on this card? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As always, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.